Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at a new box called Asset Drop. This is a new review for the channel. We've been contacted by Andy from Asset Drop, which is up at the top here, AssetDrop.co. And it's a new product which has started, I think it's October was the first one. And it's, it's effectively a paint box, which they send out to you as, as often as you want. Andy basically goes through and selects a bunch of paint, paints that work together and sources them from different companies around the world and then sends them out to your door and you get a, a nice discount on it. I mean, you're getting anywhere between, I think, six and nine or seven and nine paints, as well as a little guide that comes with it. And, um, you know, it's for, the, for just less than 20 pounds for one of those boxes to your door. So if you're gonna be buying some of these paints, I think you'd be paying at least two pounds for a pot normally. Some of the, the weathering pigment pots can get up to you know three or four pounds. So even though you might be paying almost the same as buying it individually, it's being delivered to your door, you're getting new paints to try out from different companies that might be harder to, to find in your local area. And a lot of the times, more often than not, you're gonna be getting a discount on this stuff. So we'll have a look through the website um, because this is getting updated all the while as well. So we start off with the nice Acid Drop logo. I keep saying Acid, but it, I almost make it sound like Acid. It's not an Acid Drop, it's an Asset Drop. So the ultimate monthly box for miniature painters. So there's loads of tabs here. Uh, it's a nice website, it's very fast as well and it looks very funky. I'm quite jealous. I like all these highlighted boxes they've got. And uh, they're limited, so every month you've got a limited um, amount of boxes which are available. So they'll make a load of them up and by I think the seventh of each month, they'll either stop selling them and they'll move on to the next month's one or before they, you know, they might sell out before that point. 5% of all of the profits go directly to a selected charity. So this one at the moment is Blue Marine Foundation. And um, we'll go through here. So Andy is the founder of Asset Drop been a miniature painter for nearly 10 years, so he's got a lot of experience, he knows what he's talking about. And the idea behind Acid Drop is simple. I wanted to capture the excitement and satisfaction I get from trying out new paints, color schemes and painting techniques and share that with as many of you as possible. And the boxes are packed with value, which I've already gone over briefly. And it's, it's trying to make it the most, um, you know, the, the best subscription box available for miniature painters. Okay, so there's different ways to actually purchase them. We're just going to have a look down here. These are the brands which they feature. So some of these are fairly new, at least for me. I mean, War Colors is something I'm really, you know, looking forward to trying out. Uh, AK Interactive I use quite a lot for the weathering pigments and, and um, enamels already. So I'm quite, you know, used to AK Interactive. Other than that, I generally stick to Games Workshop. Uh, I've obviously picked up some Scale 75 if you've been watching any of the tutorials on the website. Uh, mainly on the premium tutorials, I've been using Scale 75 here and there, and Coat the Arms with the original um, suppliers. I think they used to make the original GW paints. So I've used all of those, but the rest of them, you know, Mig, um, Hataka, even Broken Toad, I've used some of their pigments, but a lot of these I've never even heard of, let alone used. So it'd be good to get this, you know, delivered to your door each month and then try them out. So we've got what is Acid Drop? Now it's only available if you're in the UK or the EU and it's a monthly subscription box. And uh, here it is, yeah, there's, there's only a certain number of boxes available every month and subscriptions for each monthly box close for good on the 7th of the month, uh, but will close earlier if all boxes are snapped up. So you've got to be quick if you want it, just you know subscribe or buy a one-off box as soon as possible. What will be inside? So between six to eight miniature paints, which are carefully selected, and I'll go through the box in a moment as well. We'll uh, the one that's been delivered and show you, uh, you know, the selection process. They're designed to form a cohesive and useful box for any painter. The paints won't be just acrylic. There'll be liquid pigments, weathering powders, washers, glosses, oils, and transparent paints as well. And they'll be complementary to each other, so you can use them to try out different painting techniques. And they'll also uh, we've been over this twice already, but they're going to be the best value uh, as they possibly can be. So, you know, it's, it's a new company. The subscribers are important. They want to do well, but they also want to make it as valuable and as good a service as possible for the painters. So, they, you know, they're doing what they can for that. They're also including the guide 
and I'm going to go over that in the actual unboxing which shows how to use the paints which are included in the box and it's quite a nice little addition inside here as well and then the other thing which I think I think this is genius I mean I, I at first I was thinking you know it's a it's a box that gets sent out it's awesome you get to try new things out or this thing is is a nice little gem. So if you subscribe to them and you pay for a six month subscription or a year subscription or whatever it is, you get a discount in their online store. And that goes live at the end of October with the stuff that's inside the October box. So if you buy the October box and you like the paints which are in there, they'll be available on the store and you'll be able to buy additional pots of paint. So if you like the flesh paint which is in there, you can buy multiple Parts of that flesh paint, but you'll get discount off it. So if you're if you're a monthly subscriber, you get up to 15% off, and a six-month subscriber, you get up to 20% off. So if you wanted to buy more paints from them, you get a discount if you're a subscriber, which I think is a great thing. As I was saying, it's quite difficult to sometimes source some of these paints. So the fact that you can just come onto this website and you've got your subscription sorted every month anyway, but you can just buy ones that you know you liked, I think that's a great idea. And you'll also earn credits as well, which you can use to redeem against the next purchase. They're also doing a painting hub, which is something we're trying to do with our website as well, not necessarily just painting uh, the hub itself because we've got the website and the tutorials, but they're creating a forum where you can share creations. So if you've got one of these boxes and you've painted something up with it, you can post it up on there. You can ask for advice for the paints and you can discuss miniature painting. And the hub is a place where you can um, share tutorials and articles as well. So it's going to be a nice place to get a variation of tutorials. Again, similar, I think, to the hub that we're, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at on the website, but that's a nice, nice addition to this as well. And they're also looking at doing a, an airbrush version of the box. So if you're interested in airbrushing and you want something like that, send them an email on this website. Just click on the, you know, sign up to the email list, send them a message and say you would be interested in asset drop and they might do that sooner rather than later. Now we've got subscription levels, so you can do it monthly as a one-off, that's £19.90 a month. You get six to eight paints, you earn credits, you get up to 15% discount and you get access to the hub. If you go for a three month, you save you know, a little bit more money, so each month you're saving 40p, but you're also earning extra credits and you get an extra discount. And then if you go for the six months, you're earning even more discount, up to 21%, and you're also earning more credits but um, it's you know notably cheaper as well. So there are three different versions of that. Credits, one credit is 1p, so again, it all adds up. You've got your discount on the monthly subscription, you'll have your extra credits, and you'll also have your extra discount. So the more you basically commit to the service, the more you'll get taken off it. Um, do, 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 do. Shipping is charged extra at the checkout as well, so you just need to double check what it is. It's not available to USA, Canada or other regions yet, although they are, they are working on it. I imagine it's going to cost a bit more for shipping and you know getting it to people. And that's pretty, pretty much the service on top of it. I mean, check the website anyway, there's a lot of stuff on here explaining you know what it's all about. Uh, assetdrop.co I'll put the link in the description below so you can just click on it rather than typing it in because I'm always thinking about you and we'll see what else is on here I mean we've, yeah it's all gone on, on here already so that is the website make an account for free you also get 10 credits and uh, you know add it to your account just for signing up and order one as soon as you want one basically now the store isn't currently updated with anything because the box hasn't officially gone out yet so um, when they are available, you'll be able to click on these and you'll be able to buy a pigment or you'll be able to buy a paint or a wash or whatever and you can just buy the ones that you've already bought in the past. That's it. I'm going to go on to the actual unboxing showing you what came in the October box, but this is the website. Right, so let's take a look and see what you actually get inside the box. So it comes in some very well packaged. It comes inside another envelope, but it comes with some bubble wrap as well just to keep it protected. We'll move that out of the way. Then we've got the box with the acid drop sticker on the top of that as well. Okay, um, right, you know what, we've got sweets. We've got sweets as well as whatever else is inside here. So if you've got a sweet tooth like me, that's perfect, that's a great start. Possibly because it's Halloween. Right, so we've got the tissue paper. Oh, no, what's going on here? Oh, it's one big. Very well wrapped. Okay, so let's open this up. Wow, okay. 
So we've got a guide. Oh, wow, these are all individually wrapped as well. Well, when I say wrapped, they're banded together. So we've got three paints there which are banded together. These are... Which brand are these? We'll have a look in a moment. They're pigments by the look of it. Again, perfect timing. This is the the Wilder. So this is the new one. Gunpowder line. Wow, perfect timing. I'm definitely going to have a look at that. So that's old grease. We've got, again, we'll, move, we'll just move this out of the way. And we've got a final one. Oh no, you know what? We've actually got a pipette in here as well. Wow, okay. So let's start with whatever is inside this tissue paper, which I imagine is another, it looks like another one of the Aqualine ones. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Wilder.su, so they, it looks like they are the same, they're the same company. Yeah, they're the same company, but this Aqualine is the one that you can reactivate with water. So brown mud, reactivatable acrylic effect. So we're definitely going to try that out, probably with the Germans when we start weathering, which is probably today actually. And then we've got this, which is gunpowder line. So I wonder what that is. Let's have a look. Thought it was a child lock then. Had it been done. So that's a, a black pigment. Quite, yeah, it's like your standard sort of pigment. I've never used this brand, so we'll have to try it out and see what it's like. But that's the whole point of this box, is that the, uh, they send you a range of different paints for you to try out. And if you like them, so say if I like this old grease, this will be available on their shop, on the website, and you can just purchase some more. And if you're subscribed, obviously you get your discount as well. So you can just purchase it with a discount. So that's really cool. So the Aqualine, I'm interested to see, just to have a look inside it actually. Doo, 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 doo. Oh wow, that is thick acrylic. Wow, that looks like double the thickness of a base paint from Games Workshop, but it's reactivatable. I wonder if it's, it works like the, the streaking grime paints that I'm used to in um, enamel. I think it's enamel paints. I think they're enamel, yeah. Um, but acrylic would be really useful because you could get the streaking effects and the, the splatter without needing to work with white spirit. You just reactivate it. So I'm definitely going to try that out. Don't know whether this is going to fit on my paint rack. That's the only worry. 40, 40 mil. So there's quite a lot of that inside there. Right, the next one, or the next two, these are from Com art colors another one i've never heard of so it looks like these are airbrush or brushable shape well before use brighter truer colors suitable for paper canvas and illustration board i imagine it'll work on plastic well again we'll see that's what the the box is for now what sort of lid oh wow okay do we have to take off any sort of cap? Yep. I mean, this is not necessarily going to be a review about the paints, but look at the pigment on that. It's quite transparent. Uh, maybe used as a wash or a glaze. I don't even know. Um, but the actual, the service, I mean, well, the box itself, that's what we're looking at. So we'll look more in depth at these paints when I'm using them in tutorials or in quick tips or anything like that. But um, there's two of those in there. And we've got, I do you like how everything's like wrapped up? So adjustable, non-smelling washers, liquid pigments. What's that? Liquid pigment remover. can be adjusted or removed with remover. Well, I imagine this is the remover. Right, so we've got black gray. We've got a black gray wash, and then if you wanted to remove it from anywhere, we've got the remover with it as well. 
that's interesting. Oh, is that? It says washers, but then it says pigments, liquid, liquid pigment. Oh God, that needs a good shake, I think. On a black gray, maybe it does need a bit more of a shake. That's interesting. Another, another product to try. Make sure that lid's on properly. So that's from Life Color, is it? Or Liquid Pigments? I don't know what the what the brand actually is there. And then finally, we've got two from Master Series paints. I know in America, I've seen a lot of Americans bang on about how good the Master Series paints are, but in the UK, these are quite difficult to pick up. Now this service is available in the UK and the EU. So if you're like me and you're in the UK and it's difficult to pick these up, or at least it seems to be where I am, this box allows you to try them out first of all, and if you do like them, then you can order them from the shop, which I think is such a great idea, really. And the discount on them is good as well. I mean, if you were going to buy one of these paints from a shop, you might pay, I don't know, just £2 or something, or £2.50. I don't know what the price is for a Master Series paint normally. But if you're buying it through the um, Asset Drop website with your discount, you might be getting 10 to 20% discount, depending on which subscription you go for. So you can actually keep getting your paints from the company, from Asset Drop, at a good discount as well once you've tried them out. So, oh yeah, made in the USA, so that's why it's difficult to find it here. But we've got a high density pigment, Caucasian flesh, and maiden flesh. So those will go together as well, because again, these paints are picked almost to work together. So we've got liquid pigment here, we've got the wash that we put it on with, and then you've got the remover. So, you know, that's been chosen on purpose. You've got two colors here, which look like they're the, the layer and then the highlight color for it. We've got the flesh tones here, which again, you've got the base color or the, the first layer and then a highlight for it as well. So they've been chosen to go with each other. And this one, I imagine, would be the shadow color as well. Yeah, flesh wash. So another one from the Master Series paint. And that's the wash. So we've got, we can do some faces. We'll do a face tutorial with this, I imagine. What, what can we work on? Rachel's got her frost grave model. So you know what, I'll use this for the, the flesh tone for that. And we'll see how they work out. Okay, and then finally, we've got this, the Acid Drop Guide. So this is quite a nice little book that's been put together. This is for October 2017. So whichever month you buy, you'll get its own specific guide, I imagine. Let's have a look inside. So we've got a note from Andy. It's made out of decent paper as well. It's not some cheap, nasty stuff that's just been chucked in a box. Hi guys, welcome to your first Asset Drop. Big thank you to everyone who subscribed to our launch box. It's great to have you on board. So I'll, I'll leave that there. I'm not gonna read through all of that. I'll read through it in a moment. I am reading it now, actually, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so that's from Andy, who uh, is the founder of Asset Drop. We have inside your Asset Drop, so it's, it's telling you what you've actually got. So the Caucasian, the Maiden, the Flesh Wash, I mean, a lot of work must be going into selecting these paints, so, you know, sourcing them initially, selecting them, um, working out what goes together, and then doing these tips or these guides inside here. I mean, I haven't looked yet, but it already. So we've got those three, those three to go together. Then we've got the Manoza, Manoza Orange and Permanent Red. So that's in honor of the Halloween launch date, they've chosen the bright colors. So that's like your, your orangey colors. We have life color liquid pigment with the remover. So again, explaining that weathering is something I started getting into about a year ago when I realized I was missing out on a whole other aspect of the model of painting. Weathering is a huge subject and there are many different ways to do it, all of which will feature in future boxes. We've chosen life color liquid but pigments they're designed to emphasize emphasis they're designed to emphasize detail <laughs> emphasize detail in a, in a natural the build up sort of way and are the perfect introduction to weathering especially considering the handy remover that comes with them i'll tell you how to use these in the technique section we have got the old grease thing in there as well so you know anything that's in this box it, it will tell you in this guide how to use it we've got zenithal highlighting tips We've got how to paint flesh. I mean, showing you how to use the Reaper paints. I mean, I don't even need to do a tutorial. <laughs> I've got it covered inside here. So they've got the Zenithal highlight preparing the model. Then they're gonna use the base color, then they're doing the wash, and then they're talking about, um, you know, recovering flat sections as well. 
highlighting it back up again. So that's the that's the flesh. Then you've got the pigments again, explaining why pigments are great. And again, we've got pigments on tanks, which is what I'm working on. I'm working on some German tanks, so I'll be using that. And it's explaining about streaking and speckling as well, which is exactly what I need to do. So this has come at the perfect time. Uh, using pigment remover and using dry pigment. I'm not a fan of dry pigment just because once I've sealed it, it seems to still come off. So I've tried using PVA glue, I've tried varnishing, I've tried the pigment fixer and none of it seems to fully seal the pigment onto the surface. And it always seems to rub off onto your fingers if you're using it for a game, it's not. Great. So I'm interested to try out the, um, yeah, the reactivatable acrylic and see if that's any different. And then we've got brand focus. So Comart and using their paints. It's even explaining that you need to take off the stopper cap, screw off the lid, and simply lift it. I mean, it, it literally has gone into. Andy's gone into a lot of detail. If Andy's done this, I think he has. But he's gone into a lot of detail to to make it as usable as possible and make it in a little pamphlet, little booklet that you get with your box. The final word, if you've just bought a one-off box to give us a go, so this is like £19.50 I think or £20 at most for this box and that's for a month and for £20 you get in a range of stuff in here. So I mean what's this, three, six, nine paints, you get in a booklet with it as well explaining how to do it with a, you know mini tutorials in there as well and they also took 5% of whatever you pay towards a charity and for this month, I don't know if it's like six month periods and then they'll change it but for this month it's Blue Marine Foundation and I think they are for yeah protecting the oceans so uh, and, and um, having, uh, what's it called, not renewable. <laughs> Basically, so they don't just drain the ocean of everything that's inside it. So that's what the Blue Marine Foundation is for. And it's nice that they've put that towards it. And I think uh, Andy was saying, I was chatting to him about this, he was inspired by the Humble Bundle deals that you can get for like PC games where you donate a certain amount and a lot of that, if not all of it, goes to charity as well. So, so it's a nice idea and it's another way of giving back. So that is what is inside the box. Quite impressed with what, what you get inside there. It's not just nine paints, you know, you're not just plucked nine random paints and, and chucked them into a box and sent them out and duplicated that. Carefully selected. There's tutorials that go with them and you know, I can see a use for all of this. That's the important thing. It's not like I've just got a load of colors uh, to try out. I'm gonna be using those on my weather and not for my tanks. I'll be using those on the tanks and I'll be using those for some new you know, flesh tones. And then for this, it could be a specific color to use on something. So Rachel, you know what? Rachel's elementalist is, she wanted it to have like ice fire, uh, ice fire, <laughs> frost bolts or some sort of thing. She wanted it to be shooting frosty stuff, but we could even go with fire and try this or paint her robes in this color. So, you know, I could paint, paint Rachel's elementalist with those colors there and then paint some tanks with that. Okay, so that is that is the box. We've gone over the website, we've gone over the box itself, what's inside there. Hopefully this has been useful. It's been a bit of a longer one, but it's because I'm quite, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with this service. More more than, you know, initially Andy contacted me and said, we're gonna be doing this box. I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. You know, you've got a great idea there. We'll see how it works. But actually receiving it, looking at the website, looking at what they're doing with this, it, it looks really impressive. And it's definitely something I'm I'm interested in keeping on top of and even basing tutorials around. I think in the future, you'll definitely be seeing me using the, the asset drop boxes, monthly boxes, as a way to show you new tutorials and new painting products. Because, I mean, we've got loads of different brands here and we can do tutorials using all of this sort of stuff and, and see how it all works out. If um, it is your sort of thing, like I said at the beginning, go over to the website. I'll put the link in the description down below. Order one as soon as possible and you'll be happy with whatever you get, and uh, whether it's October's or November's. I'm already looking forward to, to seeing what comes out in November. But thank you very much for watching this. Share this around as well. If you know of any other miniature painters or people who buy these sort of monthly boxes, they might be interested. Just share this video out. If there's any Facebook groups or any Reddit groups, I don't even know how to enter Reddit yet, it's like a whole new realm. But if you know anybody who'd be interested, share this around and get the word out and help this great company start off really, really well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.